Hey folks, Jeremy Lopez here. I wanted to sort of step out this week and uh, do another gold nugget as I call it. And this week I wanted to focus on stepping out, okay? And the reason why, because when I was praying about what to speak about this week with you guys, the first thing that rose up in my spirit is the fact that God said, it's time for my people to step out. And I knew in my heart that God was saying that to have great blind faith. And blind faith actually, according to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now what that means to us is the fact that God is saying, quit going by what you see, quit going by what you feel, and trust in me. Trust and know that blind faith is letting you know that I don't have to see what lies before me. I don't have to know the next step. And I think that's where a lot of times we get lost is, Lord, show me the step, show me the outline, you know, tell me what to do. But the truth is, folks, that stepping out doesn't always require the next step. If you look at the woman with the issue of blood, she didn't say, you know, her um, her pastor, her preacher, her prophet, you know, the rabbi, no one said, hey, here's what you're going to do, you know, here's your outline, step out, do this, you know, go to this prophet named Jesus, you know, he claims he's the son of God and touch his garment, you know, step two is pull back from his garment, you know, I think sometimes we get so addicted to, you know, five steps to this and ten steps to that, that we forget that stepping out means blind faith, and blind faith is letting us know it is a seed and to begin to know that we don't have to always know what the next step is. But stepping out means to just basically know that if something is before you, don't be afraid to try it. You know, you know, we always say, oh, chances, you know, uh, we don't leave things up to chance because chance is not of God. It's about blessings and promotion. The truth is, folks, whatever words you want to call it, you know, I don't empower words. I empower God. All right. So, and that means I empower the God behind the words and, and knowing that he is the definition. So knowing that if you say, hey, take a chance, you know, step out. Do you know that God honors these steps? God honors when we step out. And so I wanted to leave you guys today with that idea that no that God spoke to me and God is speaking to you today to say, this is a season step out. Don't be afraid to take a first step. And, and the problem with that is a lot of times people feel, well, Jeremy, what if, I, what if I fall? What if I look stupid? What if I take a step and everyone looks at me and says, that was not of God? Well, that's pride standing in the way. You know, one thing that I can tell you about my business here at IdentityNetwork.net with all the employees we have, internationally recognized, thousands upon thousands of people who are on board with us, you know, my booksellers, my traveling, is I took a step of blind faith. I didn't wait on God to say, you know, here's your outline, step one, step two. I knew in my heart what God wanted me to do, but I had no clue what it would look like. I had no clue what it sounded like. I didn't know what to do. And this is probably, you know, gosh, 20 years ago. But I knew in my heart, the hearts, to do what you, feels natural to you in your spirit. And that's something that we, we think is taboo. What feels natural to you? Feels natural to you means what, what feels in your spirit of what you need to be doing. What is the actions you need to take to make that first step? And so I took a step of faith. Some things were embarrassing to me, but see, pride is not my issue. And many of you that are scared to take a step of faith, you're scared because of pride. You're like, what if I do something that makes me look stupid? Well, if it makes you look stupid, who cares? You know, does, is it going to pay off in the future? Absolutely. I'm not afraid of what people think about me anymore. I used to be. I'm not afraid of what people, sorry, there's a gnat. I wasn't, I'm not afraid of what people think about me. I'm not afraid of people, uh, you know, loving me, making fun of me, thinking I'm the greatest and the best, or thinking I'm just the dumbest person ever. The truth is, you know, until you hold the records to my bank account, until you hold the records of my identity, until you hold what I own, and you hold my spirit, and you hold my soul, you have no right to to speak into my life. Are you with me? You have no right to judge me because I took a step of faith and many people today don't want to take a step of faith. So I want to encourage you, step out. Don't be afraid of people, folks. Don't be afraid of what people think about you. Don't be afraid to fall. Your falls can be ordained by God just as, you, just as your uprisings are. Let God do both the will and do of His good pleasure. You know, could you imagine Jesus saying, man, I'm embarrassed, man. They made fun of me. They, they you know, put stripes on my back, went to the cross. That would have been pride. But see, we're scared to make a mistake. We're scared to, you know, what will people think? I'm glad Jesus didn't think about that type of stuff. I'm glad Jesus didn't think, well, man, I could look stupid. I could look embarrassing. The truth is he didn't care. He knew his mission. So when you step out, you are mission person. You're mission driven by to know my mission is going to hold stupid things, uh, my, upri my risings and my falls. And I'm not, I don't care anymore. I don't care what people think about me. I step out by faith because I know that I'm called to do something. I am something special. I'm powerful. 
I'm effective, and I know that to be a fact. When you see that about yourself and you know that God is saying in this season, take a step of faith out, God will honor your steps. Remember this, the scripture says, draw near to me and then I'll draw near to you. He didn't say if you draw near to me by perfection. He didn't say you draw near to me and make sure you get it right this time or I'm going to send you to hell. He didn't say that. He said, draw near to me, period. No matter how you need to draw near to your destiny, don't worry about it. Let God deal with the rest. God will deal with the rest because he loves you so much. So I want to encourage you guys in that, all right? By the way, I want to tell you, I don't know if I brought this with me. Let me see. I don't think I brought it with me today. Nope, I didn't. But I want to encourage you, go to my website, identitynetwork.net, and if you need a tool, if you need a tool that is effective, that will help you, get my newest book, You Are the Game Changer. I've had people say, the book has changed your lives. I've had people say, I haven't got your book yet, but I'm struggling. I said, well, I'll tell you what, until you get the book, and you read it, don't tell me, don't tell me about your struggles. Because in the book, I answer struggles. I answer things about how to create outlines. I answer what blind faith is. I answer these things. And folks, you are a game changer. And until you see that about yourself, you're not going to be effective in the world. See yourself as a game changer. Read the book. Knowledge is power, and your life will change. All right? Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you for supporting us financially and prayerfully. We love each and every one of you, and you are all champions in God's kingdom. Continue to be game changers. God bless.